Syracuse has lost a pioneer, the man credited with bringing rock and roll to central New York. Saxophone legend Jimmy Cavallo died yesterday in Florida at age 92. He made music and fans for more than 70 years. Tonight, our Tim Fox looks back at his amazing career. All right, let's get this prom rocking with Jimmy Cabello and the House Rockers and rock, rock, rock. Grab your partner, grab your gal, and rock. Legendary DJ Alan Freed introduced Syracuse's Jimmy Cavallo to the world in 1956 in the movie musical Rock, Rock, Rock. It was a style of music heavily influenced by the rhythm and blues that Cavallo first heard when he served in the Navy at Fort Bragg, North Carolina in 1948, before Buddy Holly and Jerry Lee Lewis, even before Elvis. He told Bridge Street in 2010 that he loved the big band music of the day, but as a player, it just wasn't for him. I felt restricted in a big band. You know, and I'm just reading right. these. I'm reading these parts every. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have the freedom to play what I was feeling. Yeah. Okay. I had to read the notes. Jimmy Cavallo got his start with what was thought to be one of the first white R&B bands in the country, and he fronted the first all-white band to play Harlem's legendary Apollo Theater when Rock, Rock, Rock was released. Cavallo brought the sound back to Syracuse when he left the Navy, and he eventually became known as the godfather and later grandfather of Syracuse rock and roll. In 1993, Jimmy Cavallo was the very first artist inducted into the Syracuse Area Music Awards Hall of Fame. When I came here back from the Navy, the bands at the Hotel Syracuse were playing. And I hit them with Fanny Brown, and they didn't know what hit them. Later in life, Jimmy Cavallo shifted operations to South Florida where he continued to play the saxophone past his 90th birthday. He always considered Syracuse home and returned often to perform at Festa Italiana, the Turning Stone Casino, and the New York State Blues Festival. He recorded several new CDs on those trips north and even won another Sammy Award for Best Rhythm and Blues in 2006. I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. He was certainly one of a kind, Christy. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what him, we know now. What uh, a legend. I last saw him at Festa Italiana mm -hmm. probably three, four years ago, yeah. and he said it was his uh, final, yes. final concert. I had the honor of introducing him up on stage, and, and he had shared that with me as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, what a talent. Yeah. A great man. Yeah.